What's going on guys? What I wanted to do is show you this uh, Ulano uh, pigment inkjet film. Uh, this inkjet film right here is gonna save you a lot of money. Uh, let me see if I can close stuff on that. It's $49.99, so 50 bucks. All right, so it's 50 bucks times 1200 feet, 13 inches. Um, this is gonna be way cheaper than if you buy the sheets, the 13 by 19 sheets. Uh, I think it's 100 sheets and it's gonna run you right around 100 to 120 bucks, I believe, for 100 sheets. So you're gonna be paying uh, about a dollar to a dollar twenty per sheet, and this is gonna save you a lot of a lot of money um, as far as your transfers. So it comes in a roll, big roll here. As you can see that. So all you're gonna do, basically, obviously, is just cut your size, whatever you need. Let's say your image is ten inches. You're gonna get your uh, cutting board here, measure out your 10 inches, get your T-square, and with your little exacto, you're just gonna cut it up, okay? <clears throat> the reason this is gonna save you a lot of money also is because, let's say for example, you have a, a pocket print, right? Okay, so now you're gonna cut your, your five inches or whatever it is versus having your sheet, which is a 13 by 19 sheet, which is right here, right? So it's, it's a sheet, it's already pre-cut. Okay, it's gonna save you a little bit of time, but what it's gonna do is, let's say you have a 10 inch uh, design, or let's say, you know, 11 inch design. Okay, now you have the rest of this, which is eight inches that you don't have anything for, you can't fit anything on, unless it's a pocket print. But a lot of times you're not gonna do a pocket print. So you have all this film that is being wasted and you really can't do anything with. Also, a lot of your designs are gonna be, I wanna say a 13 by 13 or a 12 by 13, something like that. So you're gonna have you know, a good four or five inches that is just going to waste. So here, if you have a 13 inch print, you cut your 13 inch print, all right? And then you still have you know the rest of your roll so nothing gets wasted for the most part you don't waste anything which is also you know it's very good because you're saving money so now versus your dollar 20 per sheet you're spending i don't know 50 60 cents per sheet something like that uh per transfer if that even even less and also there is a correct way to load this i don't know if you can see here there's a like a, a milky side and there's like a just a a white side. I don't know if you can really tell on that. So, the like the milky side, that's the side you're gonna load. That's the print side. So a lot of times, you know, you'll you'll cut it out and you won't know which side. Okay, wh what's the print side? It's the it's the milky side here. All right. Click the link in my description. Um, I have a link where you can get this for I believe it's 60 bucks from Amazon. Uh, you know, it might change depending on the time you click the link, but it's it's uh, 60 bucks from Amazon. I think it's free shipping. So this is going to definitely save you a lot of time. Not a lot of time. It's going to save you a lot of money. Um, so I just wanted to make that quick video on your transfer versus your sheets. Also, another thing is vellum. Don't use vellum if you're starting out because vellum is a screen print killer. What I mean by that is if you use vellum, um, what's gonna happen nine times out of 10 is when you go to expose, it's not gonna expose right just because the, the ink, um, it doesn't, how do I wanna say? It doesn't uh, cover as good as it will on this right here. So your exposure, it's, it's not gonna come out correctly. And what's gonna happen is if you're new to screen printing, you're gonna kind of get discouraged and you're not gonna know why your your uh, exposure is not coming out right. So nine times out of 10, it's because you're using vellum. And that vellum is just, it, I don't like it because the lines, they, they aren't as crisp 
as with, with your transfer film. Also, like I said, the, the ink coverage is not, is not great. If you hold it up to the light, <clears throat> you see a lot of, of light going through that ink. If you hold this piece up to the light, um, it's gonna look a lot darker. Um, let me see if I have a transfer on hand. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, this right here is going to be, see if it can get up in there with your, with your transfer paper, which looks pretty good. You really can't see any light going through there. All right. Again. See that? It's just blocked out. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to remember, if you're using a CISS kit, which is a continuous ink supply system, is you're gonna to wanna to use dye ink, not pigment ink. Um, my last round of loading my CISS kit, I used uh, pigment ink because I needed it right away and that's all they had at Office Depot. Usually I order it online. Um, but as you can see here, it starts to scratch off a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, but if I make that mark, it's gonna scratch off, and that is pigment ink. The dye ink, you know, lasts a lot longer. You scratch, 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 it's on there. It's not, it's not going anywhere. This kind of overlays a little bit, and you, you know, scratch it. it. Doesn't really matter too much, unless you're gonna reuse the transfer. If you're gonna reuse the transfer, you definitely don't wanna use a pig, pigment ink. You wanna use uh, the, the dye, the dye ink. Uh, and also the dye is a little bit less expensive than the pigment for whatever reason. But also you're gonna wanna make sure your ink settings are correct. You're gonna wanna do uh, ultra photo um, print because if you, just, if you just do regular print, you're gonna have the banding in here and when you go to expose, the same thing's gonna happen. Uh, you're gonna have banding in your exposure. Uh, so you're just gonna wanna keep that, that stuff in mind Another thing too, why use these versus your vellum is, vellum really is, um, you're gonna use it one time. Because once you, once you take it off of your screen, it kinda, it kinda like crunches up a little bit because of your exposure, it gets real hot and you really aren't gonna be able to use it again. Um, so these, these are great, you know, if you're gonna use it multiple times, uh, I just, Highly recommend using this, even as a beginner, versus using Vellum. Vellum is, is just a big no-no. And again, guys, don't forget to click the link in the description to check out the 13 by uh, 1200 feet of uh, the Ulano pig pigment ink dye film. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.